Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone. Halos and Heroes back again. So tonight we are going to dive into Sabaton, the Attack of the Dead Men. And a historic fact about this song, in the early morning of August 6th, 1915, the German gas batteries opened up and a dark green smog of poison gas crept over the Russian lines at Ozovic Fortress. So, without further delay and with much excitement, let's dive on in. Gas, the ultimate weapon of duty. A highly effective delivery system of a slow and painful death. This time, a fortress and its few defenders will suffer its horrible consequences. Out of the poisonous cloud came an army of men who should already have been dead. Okay, turmoil at the front, Wilhelm's forces on the hunt. There's a thunder in the east, it's an attack of the deceased. They've been facing poison gas, 7,000 charged in mass. Turn the tide of the attack and force the enemy to turn back. And that's when the dead men are marching again. Now I remember hearing this story in a history class not too long ago. And... Ozewick's fortress was by no means prepared for the onslaught of the Germans. Um, but they defended it and defended it and defended it to the point where the Germans were getting frustrated. Like, what can we possibly do to take this fortress? Especially since it was necessary for the Germans to continue. Um, so, anyway, I'm sure they'll get into it here in the story. Um, but let's talk musically. I like this one. It's a little slower than their normal stuff and a little more technical. Um, still great song. I, nothing wrong with it whatsoever. And I'm loving this Live the Great Tour London um, so for any live requests that I get from here on, aside from ones that are asked for at a specific show, I will keep this show going. So without further delay, let's dive back into it. Great song so far and great visual imagery. I love the way they came out in the gas masks and, you know, really kind of set the tone and, and painted the picture.
So that was a great musical interlude. Oswick then and again, attack of the dead, hundred men. Facing the lead once again, hundred men charge again, die again. Two combatants spar, Hindenburg against the Tsar. Move in twelve battalions large into a Russian counter charge. They'll be fighting for their lives as their enemy revives. Russians won't surrender, no striking fear into their foe. So basically what happened was the Germans pumped the fort full of gas. And even though everyone in the fort would ultimately, I think most everyone, don't count me on the numbers. I don't remember specifically, but I do know that of the ones that were able to make it through the initial gas attack. They took rags, put them over their face, or whatever they could find as a way to prevent the gas. And the gas had um, effects like making the eyes bleed and stuff like that. So they looked literally like zombies coming out of this green gas fog is what happened. And the Germans were terrified. Um, of course, who wouldn't be, you know, um, a real life walking dead situation. And so, yeah, I mean, this is, this is a great, uh, way to present such an important battle in history. Um, but let's go ahead and finish this out. Like I said, that was a great musical interlude, great guitar solos. Um, and I like the way Joachim grabbed the cymbal to silence it. That was kind of funny. Um, set decoration is awesome. I bet you the crowd's having a ton of fun. As you guys know, I love Sabaton, um, and I think that they really bring history to life. And for those of you that encouraged me to get in them to begin with, Mad Dog, um, a couple others, I really, really appreciate it. And I know that I am still quite a few behind. I'm trying to get through all the requests by the end of the month. I've had to move a few around depending on what's been going on, but I am trying to keep the content consistent. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you for being here. This is Halos and Heroes, and I want to say I love you, I care, and you are not alone. Have a good night.